not only here, but how many of you know we have family in heaven? Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. Now what is it that he's trying to get to us? That you be strengthened with might. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to strengthen us with might. He's trying to grant you with an anointing called might. Might is an anointing. It's one of the sevenfold anointings of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of counsel, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of might. Now might is an anointing or it is an, an ability from God. Might is an ability from God to do anything. Now you're going to have to take your limits off to hear what I'm saying. It is the ability from God to do anything. Might is supported by this scripture, you're familiar with it, for I can do all things through Christ, which what strengthens me. Well, what do you think he's, he's strengthening you with? He's going he's to strengthen you with the ability to do all things. That ability to do all things is called might. Everybody shout might. might. Now, please understand something. You're going to have to attack your thinking because he desires to grant you with the ability to do all things. He's trying to get you to break out of this wall of containment of believing that you can only do some things. You're going to have to believe that you can do all things through the anointed one and his anointing through the spirit of might I can do all things what do you think would happen with a Christian who develops this attitude and it's at the forefront of his thinking I can do all things through Christ what happens he's fearing nothing anymore fears not there anymore why I can do all things through Christ Anytime he comes to something that looks like it's a limit, oh, I can do all things through Christ. Oh, I can do all things through Christ. Yeah, I, 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 know, I know what the commercial said, but I can do all things through Christ. I know the situation, but I can do all things through Christ. I know how much money I got in the bank, but I can do all things through Christ. He wants to grant you with this ability called might which will strengthen you. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So what I accomplish won't be by my ability. What I will accomplish will be by the ability that has come from him. The ability that has been granted to me to be strengthened by his spirit with might. To be strengthened with might by his spirit and in the inner man. On the inside of me. My spirit now, out of me comes that spirit of might that has been revealed to me by the spirit of God. I have that ability. That's, that's exactly right, what I just said. Say this out loud. I have that ability to do anything in me now. So here's God's desire. I want you to be strengthened with the ability to do anything. I want you to get a hold that you can do all things through the anointed one and his anointing, which strengthens you with might. That's, that's the objective. This is what God wants to do. This is what he wants to grant you with. Now, how do you think your life would be? If you would begin to be strengthened with this ability to do anything. Huh? Would you stay the same? Huh? Are there some things that you know right now you would go after? You would attack those things to change those things now that you know you can do anything? Of course, within the boundaries of the word. I don't advise you to go and climb on a building and jump off and try to fly like Superman. See, don't get crazy like that. Do anything within the boundaries of God's word. 
you do anything with, within the boundaries of what God says to you. Now, look at the next verse. Because what we've got to, we've got to figure this out. How is this going to be done? How am I going to be strengthened with this might? How am I going to position myself in a place where I can, I can do all things? I can do all things. See, I, I, I'm just saved enough to believe that. I just do. I, I just believe, you know, that I'm going to start churches all around the world and I'm going to get billions of folks being saved. I got things I got to do. I ain't got time to let them limit me. Haters have been called to keep the limits over your life. That's why you got to quit listening to them. Haters hate because of their own limitations. And their own insecurities. You ain't got time for that. Hallelujah. Now, next verse. Did you get that verse? How many of you want that verse to be a reality in your life? You really mean that? You really want that verse to be a reality? I mean, come on. Do you really want it to be a reality? Or did you just come to church and told you, you see if you can get you a husband? You always got to ask yourself, why am I here? Because if you're not here because you love God, then the enemy can attack you and take away whatever it is that's motivating you to come here. That's why your motivation to come to church has got to be, I love God. Because if there's any other reason, we ain't going to see you in another couple of years because when that motivation moves, you're going to move. All right, now watch this next verse. That you be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ, the anointed one. Now, Christ is not Jesus' last name. What? You go to somebody in the grocery store, what's Jesus' last name? They say, Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, Christ is not Jesus' last name. Christ, is a, it's translated, it means the anointed one. So it says Jesus, the anointed one. They refer to him as the Christ, the anointed one, the one who's anointed with the anointing. Well, I mean, Jesus had to have a last name. If Christ ain't his last name, what's his last name? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, if God is Father and God said, tell him I am sent you, I guess his last name Am. And they come, <laughs> and they come from the Am family. And he said, I am. Whatever you need me to be. Amen. Right, now watch this. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. May, that Christ, the anointed one, may dwell in your heart. That you be strengthened with all might. That you be strengthened with might. That you, that you be strengthened with might. That Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. So Christ dwelling in my heart. It's going to have a whole lot to do with me being strengthened with might. But I have to, by faith, receive that Christ dwells in my heart. Now, how many of you know the day you got born again, the Spirit of God moved on the inside of you? Romans 5 and 5 says that the Holy Ghost came in the day you got saved, shed abroad in your heart the love of God. So he's in there. If you're born again, the Spirit of God is in there. The Holy Ghost is in there. Glory to God. So by faith, I believe he's in there. Say out loud, I believe, I believe by, faith, by faith that the Spirit of God, the, of God, the anointed one, the anointed one lives, in lives in me. Now, now. you believe that. Yes. You believe by faith the Holy Ghost is in there. Yes. Not because you shake, not because you rattle, and not because you roll. You believe that the Holy Ghost is in there because the Word says that he's in there. Not because you feel him, not because you saw him, but the word says he's in there. Now turn to your neighbor and say, you possess. You turn to the other side and say, by the Holy Ghost. All right. That you be strengthened with might by the Spirit of God. And that anointed one may dwell in your hearts by faith. He's going to dwell in your heart 
that you be rooted and grounded in love. He's there so you can be rooted and grounded in love. The Spirit of God dwells in you so you can be rooted and grounded in love. One of the ways the enemy contains believers is by limiting us in the area of prosperity. But in the series Live Love Overflow, I explain that we also limit God and ourselves when we lack faith in his word. Now, if you can relate to this, I encourage you to call and order this series right away. Or you may purchase it at our website. You'll discover how to develop faith in God's word and take the limits off your life forever. And if you're fed up with average living and want to get real results in life, this month's offer is just for you. It's a dynamic package entitled The Total Victory Gift Collection. It includes my book, Winning in Troubled Times, as well as the teaching series. Now, there's also a powerful music CD, a mini scripture book, and Destiny Journal, and more. This all-inclusive package is available for a love gift of $150 US dollars or more. This month only, you may also purchase the single message, Tools for Winning, and my book, Winning in Troubled Times, for your love gift of any amount. So visit our website and order this must-have package today. We receive powerful testimonies daily about how this broadcast is reaching hurting people and changing lives for the better. But we couldn't do it without the financial support of our partners and friends. Your generosity to send in offerings and love gifts is priceless and we thank God for you. So if you'd like to support us financially, simply call, write, or visit our website. Thank you for watching today and God bless you. You have authority and dominion over all the earth. Use your authority. God's love is prepared for anything you can throw at it and it'll always come out winning and above. His tender, loving kindness in hot pursuit of us, trying to run us over with his blessing. Live Love Overflow is a new and powerful four-part series by Dr. Creflo Dollar. You'll discover the secret to living in the fullness of God. Order today. Call now or visit us online at CreflodollarMinistries.org. In the race of life, to win means knowing how to hurdle any obstacle, how to keep the pace, endure, and if you fall, how to get up again. In the revolutionary new book, Winning in Troubled Times, best-selling author Dr. Creflo Dollar reveals how to navigate the toughest roads in life. There's just so much value in this. Totally transformed my life. Order your copy of Winning in Troubled Times today, wherever books are sold, or visit us online at creflodollarministries.org. If you are ever in the Atlanta or New York areas, we invite you to join us. Visit CreflodollarMinistries.org for service times and locations. It is people like you who help make it possible to spread the Word of God. We thank you for your continued support. The preceding program was paid for by Creflo Dollar Ministries.